Another brick fan with a Ninjago poly bag. This is Kai Drifter. This is set 30293, was released in January 2015. It has 43 pieces, one minifigure, which is Kai as you might expect, and it cost about $4 when it was originally released. There are many of these little Ninjago poly bags, uh, usually featuring one of the main ninjas or characters from the series. So let's go ahead and get this little drifter built and take a look at it. Here we have the finished Kai Drifter, and of course we do have Kai on here. We'll take a look at him in just a second. But let's take a quick look at the Drifter itself. So it is on a couple of these inverted tiles here on the bottom, the inverted rounded tiles. So it doesn't sit exactly level. It's supposed to be a boat, I believe, so it does run on water. Has the handlebars here, two stud shooters with this nice trans orange studs and then the side on either side here that are connected to give it a little bit more decoration. Overall, I think it's a pretty good little design, pretty aerodynamic with this hood piece here. Uh, there's some slopes running in the back here to give it a little bit more shaping. Plenty of room, of course, for the minifigure to sit on board there. So that's also a very good Feature. Obviously, if you're in a creative vehicle, you want to make it big enough for a minifigure to sit on. Taking a look at Kai here, of course, has his printing here, his symbols, of course. He's got his ninja cover here, the really messy hair here as well. Looking on the back, he's, of course, a... He has flame or fire as his that he controls. No alternate expression for Kai. And of course his face is covered up by that little ninja cowl or part there, but he does have a very grumpy expression. Kai definitely has his game face on in this version of his figure. So my overall impression is it's a pretty nice little vehicle. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's a little unstable, you know, because of the use of those Tiles on the bottom. Of course, you could just pull these tiles right off and it'd be a lot more level. As a watercraft, it will slide a little bit better on these tiles. So as long as you're holding on to it and driving it around, it would work just fine as a play piece. I think vehicles with wheels or true aircraft, I think are a little bit more, you know, they make a little more sense, but it also makes sense for them to, you know, have all the different vehicles and the different elements that they're on. So obviously they have some times when they've got to be on water, so they need watercraft in order to help with that. And I believe Naya from Ninjago has some water influence as well as far as an element goes. Nice to get the stud shooters, of course, and there are some extra studs included with the set. So I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this little Ninjago set. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to my polybag review playlist up here on the screen.